Welcome to EdTech Hustle. My name is Rich and today I'm going to be showing you a feature that I've been waiting for for quite some time from Canva and that is text to video. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is actually under Magic Media. So we'll select apps and I'm just gonna scroll to the bottom and you can see Magic Media down here. Okay, so I've showed you lots of examples of the text to image feature before. You just type what you want in an image and then you can choose a style. Recently, Canva added a bunch of different styles for you to choose from. There's also options for you to select what size you want that image in. But now there is a brand new feature. You can see that this is text to video. So it works the same way, but instead of generating an image, we are going to be able to generate an actual video. This is powered by the website Runway ML, an awesome website, and it's still in beta, so you can see it's experimental, but let's go ahead and see how this works. Now, one thing I do wanna to bring to your attention at the bottom in the small print, you can see one of 49 credits. It looks like you have about 50 credits per month with a Canva plan, probably because Canva's being charged every time this feature is done through Runway. So it's not unlimited, but it is 50 generations for videos that you can do each month. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, here is my first prompt. I know in a different video, I did this as an image. Let me go ahead and do this option, a grizzly bear running through the streets of New York City. Let's go ahead and generate the video. Now, unlike a text, uh, now, unlike an image, which comes up pretty quickly, this will take about one to two minutes. So I'm gonna pause this video. Once it's done, we'll take a look at how this brand new feature from Canva ends up looking. Okay, so it looks like we are finished. Let's go ahead and preview this. Looks kind of cool. Let me just bring this onto my slide. Make that a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and play this. Let's see how it looks. <laughs> all right not bad it starts out okay but if you look to the left that bear <laughs> at some point kind of morphs his face kind of morphs into i don't even know what that is like a pig or a bear or, or some some sort of animal um so it's about four or five seconds of video it starts out looking really cool but but then it kind of gets a little distorted. So not horrible, but maybe not great either. So let's try another one. Okay, here's my next one. I'm going to try a dancing scene from Star Wars. Oh, okay, so look at this. It looks like this violates the content policy. So and it looks like it violates the content policy. So anything that you select that's a trademark, it looks like it will not allow you to generate. All right, here is my next option. It is going to be a waterfall in the middle of an urban city. All right, let's take a look at this one. Let me just make it a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and play. You know, I think that looks pretty cool. One of the things that maybe helps it is that there's no like animal faces or anything like in the other one with the bears. It's just a picture of a waterfall. Now, the one thing that it didn't really highlight is the second part of the prompt, which was a waterfall in the middle of an urban city, but, but that's okay. This is a pretty cool video. So in this case, if I was looking for a waterfall, then maybe this would work. Okay, here's one more. Let's try a psychedelic render of a dream sequence. Looks like this is going through. Let's see how the video looks once it's finished. Okay, let's go ahead and check this out. I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. Let me play it. <laughs> okay, not bad. Maybe there would be a use for this. It's a dream, so it doesn't have to look perfect. You do notice that as it goes by the car, it does get a little bit distorted. So again, not perfect, but still kind of cool. All right, let me do one last one. I'm going to choose a volcano with purple lava. Okay, looks like it's done. Let me go ahead, bring it over, just extend it so it fills the entire screen. Let's go ahead and play this. <laughs> okay, and again, not bad. 
something kind of strange. It sort of looks like uh, the volcano is almost in reverse. But still, you know, it starts out like a really nice picture of a volcano and sort of distorts from there. So overall, this feature is definitely cool. It's fun to play around with. I don't think that it's at the point where I'd use a lot of this footage just because it doesn't quite look as good as I want it to. But again, maybe I just have to ask better prompts um, and play around with this and figure out what it can do and then utilize it then. Now, I do think that the text to image feature works better. I do feel there's more use for that, but it's also easier to generate. So hopefully in the coming weeks, in the coming months, this feature that's new, that's in beta, will continue to, de to develop, continue to get better, and we can use this feature as Canva users. So thank you again for checking out this new text to video feature with me. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below.